Now what we're doing is we're looking for these mule deer in the mornings and evenings primarily when they get up out of their beds and they're feeding through and what we're looking for is really a buck that's on his own and, or in a bachelor group but somewhere that we can get in and get after these deer. And finally we saw an awesome deer. Spot and stock archery hunt, as far as I'm concerned, it's one of the most difficult tasks you can do, and that's probably why I love it so much. Every one of us have one of those hunting locations that they look forward to going every single year. Well, I have it too. And for me, it's probably Colorado. I absolutely love going out there and chasing those big velvet mule deer, all spot and stock, all archery. It is so much fun. Now, who I hunt with year in and year out? Well, he's probably just as much fun as the hunting is good. Joey Manigotti of Story Creek Outfitters, he is a blast. Hey. At least I'm working over here. What are you doing? I'm looking good. Got the camera rolling. Look at me. Right here, look. Check this out. We left side we don't care about, but the right side. See, you didn't know. The right is your dominant eye. So if we keep that clean, we won't That's even know it's the That's not true for person. For you? Look at you. <laughs> I just can't do anything right, can I? And I've been going out there year in and year out, and it really is all about the friendships that you develop. I mean, Joey and I are giggling and laughing probably 90% of the time. You can't trust him further than you can see him. You never listen to what he's saying. You can't shoot him, he's off limits. But it really does make for an amazing experience. And what I love about Colorado, it is such a game-rich environment. I mean, literally everywhere you look, there are mule deer, there are antelope, there are elk. It is amazing hunting, and I've got a lot of great memories there. Goodness, he is huge. <laughs> you know what I love about mule deer? I swear they get bigger when we get up to them. Yes! And when he's in velvet, I mean, he's got great mass, just a stud buck. In fact, my very first year we went out there and we hunted hard all the way to the last day and we finally got on a nice group of mule deer. Didn't quite hit where I was aiming, but got it right in the throat and I dropped this buck right in its tracks. First time I've ever seen anybody take a deer off his feet with a bow. And you know what? That started all the fun. And year after year, I have been back with some huge velvet mule deer. Well, to take it up a notch, I thought, this is the best place I've ever seen. And I actually invited my grandma down. Let it go. Who was 79 years old and took her on a hunt of a lifetime. <laughs> Good job. Really? 
You got him. And this year, well, I was back and I knew we were going to have an incredible time. Sportsman's Alliance, our heritage, our fight. Protecting hunting from coast to coast. Trapping is an important wildlife management tool and just as importantly, when animal rights organizations are able to stop or restrict it, they use those same arguments to come after mainstream hunting. The Sportsman's Alliance has protected trappers in Maine in 2010 and 2014 in court cases that could have been used to stop hunting and even fishing in the future. Just another fun fact showing you how sportsmen and women are helping make a difference. Well, we're just getting things started and I'm out here in Colorado with Joey again and this is going to be an awesome week. I've got an antelope tag and a mule deer tag and now we're just out here glassing and this is always one of my favorite hunts of the year. We're going to be going after velvet mule deer, almost all spot and stock. It's been really rainy so the antelope might be tougher but really looking forward to it. It should be an awesome week. Now Joey Menegotti and I are out and all of a sudden we spotted something like that. What is going on over here? There are vultures, and Joey, he knows this property. He's like, something's not right here. Holy cow. Now, all of a sudden, there's two bear cubs right there. Chop, sit. And I sit, grab Chop, and I'm thinking, my goodness, the mom is not far away. Her two little cubs are there, and it was quite the experience. I've never walked up on a carcass and had bear right there. How about oh. that? No. Wow. There's, some, cool. there's two cubs right there. We saw some birds over here. We came to take a look at it. Saw a big bear, ran off, got up here, walking with pork chop right here. And there were two cubs right in the bush by this. You think that's a lion kill? Yeah, it's definitely a lion kill. You can see uh, a yeah. drug up like that. That's a, that's a lion kill. And the bears, so do they usually cover it up completely and then the bears probably uncovered it? Well, yeah, and with it being so hot, that made a spoil within a day. And normally a lion, when they kill like this time of the year, yeah. they'll eat what they can, maybe a day or two at the most, and then it'll spoil. And then, they leave. And then obviously the bears, it don't take them long to find something like that. You kind of look around, you're like, oh, I'm glad that didn't end badly. But it was neat to see. And the bad part is, that was a big buck that was taken out. But anyway, that's, not, uh, that's obviously not what you want to see. Uh, your mule deer laying on the ground anyway as we're hunting them but oh well that's part of that's part of it it's a really nice deer too yeah it is pork chop you need to be extra careful now you have snakes bears mountain lions we are in the country we are in the wild so yeah <laughs> get a little bit of everything out here <laughs> well that's why she's got me i'm there, a protector and you you do know there's sasquatch out here too we've just never been able to find him <laughs> One of the things about hunting Colorado is the way we go about it. Now it's all spot and stock, but so much of our time is spent up high glassing. I see five bucks over there and two of them are jacked up. Yeah, one of them's got one horn with a big old knot hanging off his left side. The other one's like a two by a two or a three by, actually a three by three. He's got a, he's got two, two deals hanging off the right side of his neck. Now what we're doing is we're looking for these mule deer in the mornings and evenings primarily when they get up out of their beds and they're feeding through and what we're looking for is really a buck that's on his own and, or in a bachelor group but somewhere that we can get in and get after these deer. I don't know. It's a nice buck. He's bedded on this side. He's about 200 yards away. There's another buck bedded all the way over. He's got a big frame. Nice. nice. Tip of the week is brought to you by HHA Sports, the world's number one selling single pin adjustable bow sight. Now as a bow hunter, we always want to make sure we're doing everything possible. 
Well, of course, your broadhead is extremely important. Now, on all my hunts, I've been using the Rage Hypodermic, and there's a lot of reasons I really like this, but the number one reason is for the penetration. This broadhead penetrates deeper than any other Rage broadhead. It's got a solid steel ferrule, so that way it's really, really tough as well, and it comes with a shock collar. Now, what I like about these shock collars is they're plastic and they hold those blades in place. Now, one of the number one things that people don't like about expandables, well, they're afraid that they're going to open prematurely and not be ready when the moment of truth comes. With this shock collar, it holds it nice and tight, and because it's plastic, when that hits the animal, it actually breaks immediately. It's even better than the rubber band because that will contract and expand, where this immediately breaks. Now that means you gotta put a new shock collar on every time you shoot, but it really does work amazing. So I'll be shooting the Rage Hypodermic all year, and let's face it, the results speak for themselves. I've had a 52 yard pass through, I've had tons of nice up close pass throughs, and that really does make a difference. If you've got a blood trail coming out of both sides, all the better, and you'll find your deer or whatever animal you're after much quicker. This segment was brought to you by Boss Buck. For the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, choose Boss Buck Feeders. Now you're getting serious. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Hard-Hitting Easton Arrows, Golden Triangle Whitetail, Winchester, the American Legend, National Deer Alliance, HHA Sports, the leader in single pin technology. Scent Killer Gold with Hunt Dry Technology Plus. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Convergent Hunting Solutions, where experience, innovation, and passion meet. Spy Point Trail Cameras. Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting from coast to coast. Engel Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company. And Moose Utility Division, your leader in ATV, UTV accessories. Now what we're doing is we're looking for these mule deer in the mornings and evenings primarily. And what we're looking for is really a buck that's on his own and, or in a bachelor group, but somewhere that we can get in and get after these deer. And finally, we saw an awesome deer. Unfortunately, luck just wasn't on our side. We just needed one more step and this buck wouldn't give it to us. Usually when I go to Colorado, what we do is hunt mule deer in the mornings, hunt antelope middays, and then back to mule deer. Well, this year, I was dead set on getting a big mule deer and we had been getting on them, but it just wasn't working out. So instead of doing the antelope hunt during the day, we were just hunting muleys non-stop. So really, I decided to skip my antelope hunt this year. Now that's not an easy task because I've been out to Joy's and I've had tremendous success in the past. In fact, a couple of years ago we went and we sat at this beautiful natural water hole where you could see the grass shoots coming up. And we had a beautiful buck walk in the last day and I made a great shot. He went through the water and you know what? It was a lot of hard work. Well, that worked out just awesome. That antelope came perfect right in, perfect shot. We have been hunting so hard. Look at this buck, just beautiful. 
came in absolutely. We got a beautiful antelope. So it wasn't coming easy just to give up this antelope take, but I was confident that the mule deer were absolutely worth it. So we decided, you know what? We're gonna take a little break. We're gonna go to a new area, try out something new. And boy, did we see some monsters. We got in on a big group that was all bachelored up. They were all together. And there was one with a drop time. And we were filming all this through the spot and scope. And that's what I love about hunting. I love seeing the target, making a plan, trying to make it work. He saw us, and the other, the other seven don't know what's going on. They don't much care. They're following the big guy. He saw us. I'm sure it's a lot of trial and error, a lot more error than things that go well usually, but it really is that challenge. Spot and stock archery hunt, as far as I'm concerned, it's one of the most difficult tasks you can do, and that's probably why I love it so much. Yes! <laughs> I'm so happy. Good job. Wow. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, the American legend. Matthews Archery. Field and Stream, where traditions begin. Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Garmin, enhance your outdoor adventures. Winchester, the American legend. S4 Gear. Bino Doc, what a cup holder should be. SCI, first for hunters. EOTech, transform your arsenal. Waterhole, create water sources that attract and hold wildlife. And Boss Buck, for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Now you're getting serious. This segment was brought to you by SCI, protecting hunters' rights and promoting wildlife conservation. SCI is first for hunters, but first can't stay first without you. Join like your way of life depends on it. So we're back up on top here, and this is our third day, and we've got this buck again. <laughs> He's in almost the exact same spot, so it's like another try, and I'm really hoping we do it right this time. I uh, know. I'm I counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> Count on me. This, this buck, he's gotten us twice now. Well, the good news is he does look like he's probably going to head to the same spot. I mean, yeah. we've been here, we've done it before, hopefully this, this time. Actually, this buck here is follow, following a pattern that normally every day they do something different. This buck's doing the same thing every day, so hopefully we got him figured out. But by the time we think we got him figured out, he'll make us look like fools, so hopefully. We've been sitting up high, we've been watching him every day, we've been seeing what he does, we've gotten close. Now it'll probably come down to me. Yeah. Can't screw up. <laughs> it's one of those things where you can hardly believe it, and we decided to make a bold move and get right in on The whole time we were sitting here, I was listening, I was like, oh man, we can't do nothing, we're stuck here. It's so hard because we thought we had a second chance. We had the same setup yesterday. We fixed what we did wrong yesterday, and then it didn't work again today. This is a big, smart old buck, and uh, he's not playing our games. We've been in close three times on him now. And we've done a really good job of not spooking him, but today he seemed a little bit more spooked. So unfortunately he wins and I lose once again. 
And unfortunately, I ended up going home empty-handed. But that's okay, because I've got all those memories. I've got those other big velvet meal there. And to me, it's worth waiting sometimes. And honestly, it makes those good times seem even better when it all pays off, when it all works out, and you can walk away with a beautiful buck. There's nothing that I love more than the challenge of spot and stock archery. And the good thing is, you can't win them all, but this year, Mule Deer won, and I will be back. Man, I was sitting there for a minute just thinking, he's seriously gonna walk out right there, give us a perfect shot. And I had that neck shot, thought, here we go. Throat I, shot once I again. I was waiting, I was like, what is she doing? <laughs> Didn't give me quite enough of it. Need a little more. <laughs> Need a little more neck. This episode, Melissa was hunting in southern Colorado near Walsenburg with Joey Menegotti of Story Creek Outfitters. To book your mule deer, elk, bear, or antelope hunt today, visit StoryCreekOutfitters.com and tell them Melissa sent you. This segment was brought to you by Convergent Hunting Solutions. Try their electronic game calls today, featuring Bluetooth technology to work right with your smartphone. Closed captioning is brought to you by Spy Point Trail Cameras. Stunning picture quality combined with leading cellular technology will keep you instantly in the loop right from your phone. Follow Melissa on Twitter at Melissa Bachman, on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Winchester Deadly Passion, and Instagram at Melissa underscore Bachman for behind the scenes footage, photos, giveaways, and much more.